You mentioned earlier, and I wanted to make sure we get to this, uh, live broadcast, HDR in particular. And this has its own set of challenges. We've been talking so far mostly about Ultra HD Blu-ray or streaming, uh, downloading, which the studios can take all the time they want to prepare to grade and master and get it just right and ship it off and, and there you go. Live broadcasting, like sports, as you mentioned earlier, is a different kettle of fish, isn't it? It is. Um, you know, that's a complicated industry. Um, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of cameras, a lot of uh, uh, people to bring you, you know, these huge live productions. I, I can't remember the. I think it was something north of 150 cameras that they used uh, for the Super Bowl. It's just extraordinary. Yeah. But but the thing about uh, Live content um, and HDR that I think is a wonderful combination is that, um, you know, live sports, you can watch almost any live sporting event and you can see that it actually suffers from a lack of dynamic range. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the crowd's in the sun or the players are in the sun and the crowd's in the dark or, you know, there's always something that's overexposed or underexposed necessarily because, you know, these things are shot out in daylight and they don't have control like they do on a movie set. Uh, to bring you a, you know, an optimized, you know, exposed image. Uh, so, and I, I also think it just adds a lot of excitement when you can reproduce something that just is so incredibly realistic with a high frame rate, high dynamic range. Uh, I think that's going to be, you know, just so compelling for, for big sports fans. Uh, and I think that's going to give them, you know, the ammunition they need to convince, uh, you know, their significant other that, Hey, we just, I'm sorry, but we just, we're not taking vacation. We have to have this new set because <laughs> the football game just looked so incredible at the bar when I saw this in high dynamic range or Joe down the streets got it. And, um, and that's, it's kind of a sea change really, you know, the fact that, um, you know, there are the, the video file, um, uh, you know, community out there who will buy these high end sets um, that, you know, now are becoming really, they're still high end, but they're much more affordable. Um, and, you know, we buy movies, you, you know, we, ser we search for high quality content experiences. Um, but we all settle for kind of a rubbish experience when it comes to, um, uh, to live sports. I mean, there's a lot of compression, um, you know, there's the, you know, these standard dynamic range problems. I think people are just going to be blown away, Scott, when they see, what these sets can do when you put live images into them. And, and I say that with a little bit of experience playing with, you know, shooting some content and playing with even still images. I mean, your, your audience uh, can use digital photos that they shot raw 10 years ago uh, and put those images up on these screens and see things that they, they never knew they had because you've never really had, uh, you know, displays, whether it was a computer display consumer display, um, display of any kind that could really show you what, what's already in the, uh, uh, in the record that you have in these photographs. 